Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys, Mac here with completed episode number 71. In this video, we are taking a look at a game called Virginia, which is easily one of my favorite experiences of the year. If you're new to the completed series, this is a series where we take a look at a game that I recently got all of the achievements or trophies in, and I talk about that game. I talk about the achievements, I talk about whether that game was good in a mini review fashion, and if you're interested in taking a look at the first 70 episodes, as always, I have a link in the YouTube description for you to take a look at some of the older episodes. So this game released on September 22nd. I started it on October 2nd and finished it on October 3rd. That took me one day. Now, in order to complete this game, it's going to take the average player between three to four, maybe five hours total to get all 17 achievements or trophies. Now the last achievement I personally got is called Fever, and this one's for finding all of the flowers in the game, which is a type of collectible. Unfortunately, I missed a flower on one of my playthroughs, so I have to go back and play it again. Now the gameplay you're watching on screen isn't of me getting that last achievement because I don't want to spoil anything. The less you know about Virginia going in, the better Virginia is. So the gameplay instead is of the first five minutes of the game. Now, achievement or trophy difficulty, I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. This is more or less a walking simulator movie type game. You just kinda have to do what it tells you to do and progress through until you beat it. Now, you will need to do a bunch of miscellaneous tasks and you're probably going to need to use a guide for it. And overall though, it's, it's a pretty simple game. You just kind of pick up certain things, interact with certain objects, you get a couple collectibles, and you beat the story. It's pretty simple in that in, in that regard, uh, but it's going to be a 2 out of 10 because you can miss certain things. It's not just like beat the game or whatever. Also, in terms of the time to complete being 3 to 4 hours, you will need to complete the game through fully 2 times. An average playthrough will range between an hour and a half to 2 hours, so that's why it is 3 to 4 hours. And again, difficulty, it's easy as long as you have a guide handy and I have one available for you guys. Now, fun factor wise, this is the mini review section of the video. Now, this game isn't inherently fun because it doesn't really have gameplay. It is a little bit of that walking simulator style game and it is more of an experience than anything. You kind of just sit there, sit back, relax, interact with things and watch as things happen. So, fun factor here, it's kind of just like a review score, and I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I really, really, really enjoyed this game for what it is, but it's not for everyone. It, I highly, highly recommend it, but again, it's not for everyone. Some of the things that I really loved about it was the way it told the story, the way it was very cinematic and movie-based. I loved the art style and the graphics of the game. And beyond doubt, this has one of the best soundtracks I have ever heard in any game, period. The music in this game is incredible, astonishing, astounding, all of the great words you can imagine for music in video games, this game has it. The music is amazing, better than almost any other music I've ever heard in any game ever. So that's going to be its, its top points. As for its possibly negative points, the story can be a little bit confusing, it is a little bit ambiguous, so some people might like that, some people might hate it. It is a walking simulator type game, which means that a lot of people don't like that game style where you just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy a story. And that's really, I don't really have any problems with it, it could have been maybe a little longer, as I said it's only an hour and a half for 10 bucks, some people don't like that value. Uh, but I did really, really enjoy this game, and I would highly recommend it. As always, I've posted an Amazon link in the description if you need to purchase some Xbox currency for your console. I've also linked my personal 100% walkthrough of this game, and I have posted the True Achievements game page for those who might be interested. Let me know what you think about this game by tweeting me at pmac1991. Feel free to subscribe for more content. Put a like on the video and share it with a friend if you found it interesting. Special shout out to Doc Cupcake 84 for supporting on Patreon, and hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.